Now, as you can see, I got them all cut out. I got them glued together. Um, what I have done from here is I took my router and I took, a, um, I think, like an eight inch, 8 inch uh, rounded edge router bit, I think. I'll double check on that one for you. And I just took this on my router, and you can see I, can, I kind of rounded the corners a little bit. I just went around the, both sides. Um, <clears throat> what I'm doing now is I'm just basically cleaning up the edges. You can see they're not, uh, they're, they're kind of, they're not perfect. And the router kind of burnt the wood a little bit, which is fine. So as you can see on this one, I've taken my sander. Um, I've cleaned up the edges. I've taken all the, the burn marks off. Uh, sanded these uh, fairly flush, as you can see. Uh, smoothed them out. Uh, I got a little bit more sanding to do in here to clean up those uh, saw, saw marks. And then here I'll probably have to take a... Um, uh, some sandpaper and, and get in there. I can't get that with my electric sander, but go ahead and uh, so that's what I'm doing now. Get those uh, made up and like I said, route those out. Um, get them all sanded up, get them cleaned up. See, I'm gonna see where that burn mark is right along this edge. I'm gonna sand all that off, get it all cleaned up. Uh, from here, we're going to go and cut out the circles for the pictures that go on both sides of these. Um, and then we'll get them attached onto the actual guns. And as always, I'll show you what I got when I get there. So, all right. Okay, guys, as you can see, uh, I got my grips all cleaned up. Um, got the, all the, like I said, the burn edges sanded off um, fairly decently. I mean, I still got a little sanding to do yet in here, but I'm not too worried about it right now. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut out the, 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 the slots for the pictures to go into. Um, obviously all I did is I took the picture here and I kind of laid it on there just like that um, lined them up with each other and traced around it so the picture will fit into it um, how I'm gonna do that is again I'm gonna go back to my Dremel tool um, with my depth gauge I'm gonna put that on there um, I'll, and basically I'll just uh, I'll just cut it all out and I'll obviously get all those done and then from there I'll put in the two points where the screws need to be, and I'm probably going to countersink them a little bit with my Fossner drill bit, it's, um, the same bit that I used for uh, these two points here. I'll probably just go in just a little bit, just to make it uh, nice and flush with the screws. So, okay, uh, go ahead and get those cut out, and we'll go from there. All right, what we were doing last is uh, we sanded these nice and clean. Um, we got the the pieces uh, basically inlaid into it, or the holes inlaid, um, and obviously as you can see I stained them. Um, pretty much all as I did is I took, uh, this is made by Varathane, uh, it's a pre-stain. Basically what this will do will, on softer woods when you put this onto it, um, it helps your stain absorb more evenly into the wood so you don't get any uh, blotchy spotches or um, it basically it makes the stain go on nicer. Um, so I put a coat of that on there. I let that dry. Um, and then <clears throat> the one um, I stained, actually it's this one. The one is just ebony, obviously for the black. Um, and then the Sedona Red uh, 222 is what the other one is. It says red, but to me that's more of like a reddish brown. Um, and it works out pretty like uh, nice. I, I like the colors. So, I mean that's up to you guys on what you stain them. But those are the two that I used. I'll show you this one. Oh no, this one. You can see it's just ebony twenty seven eighteen. Um, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna get the pictures cut out and inlaid in here, and then we'll we'll put some polyurethane over that uh, to seal all this up and make that all nice. Um, and then we'll start painting the guns. We'll get all the paint on there and should be about it. So, all right, go ahead and get your handles all stained up. Uh, and then, like I said, I'm going to get my pictures in there and then we'll, uh, we'll go from there. So, okay. All right, guys, uh, where we left off is we, um, uh, we just stained them. Um, what I'm doing now is I'm actually adding the, uh, the polyurethane. Um, what I'm using is the Minwax Helsman. It's actually a spar urethane, not a polyurethane. It's a little different. Um, the only reason I'm using the Helsman is because I have this gallon here. I'm not going to go out and buy um, a quart or a half pint of polyurethane for this small job. So 
I have this, this is what I'm using. You can use this if you really want, you don't have to. Um, what I would really recommend for you, it's made by Minwax, um, but it's called Polycrylic. It comes in a blue can, and it's water-based polyurethane. Um, the only reason I'd recommend that is because water-based uh, polyurethane will not yellow over time. It'll stay perfectly clear. So, you know, a year down the road or something like that, when you pull your guns back out to bring them to a show, they'll be the exact same color. Um, these, since I use this, the spar urethane, these might yellow a little bit, but, you know, it, it's, it's not a big issue at this time. So, um, also, if you want, you could probably put your pictures in here. Um, and then put the polycrylic over your pictures. Um, also, the polycrylic you can put over pictures and it won't discolor um, any paint or anything like that. Like I said, it'll stay perfectly clear. The yellow poly or the, the regular polyurethane will yellow your pictures. So if you have regular polyurethane, don't put your pictures in here. Um, so that's why mine aren't in there. Uh, mine, I'm going to uh, do it a little differently. I'm going to show you how to do that here in a minute. But anyway, so got them stained, got them uh, polyurethane, and we'll just waiting for that to dry, and then we'll uh, put the pictures in and get the guns painted up. So, okay. Okay, uh, where we left off, we were still staining the grips and putting the polyurethane on. Um, I got my polyurethane on. I got like two or three coats on there. You can see there's nice and shiny. Um, and we're starting to put the pictures in. You can see here I don't have any uh, polyurethane over the picture um, because what I'm going to do um, is what you want to do is print out your pictures obviously four or two of each one um, what I did is I took white Elmer's glue and I actually glued them in there to keep them from uh, lifting up when I put something over top of them um, as I stated before you can use polycrylic it's a water-based polyurethane go ahead and uh, if you want put that over there um, over the picture and be good um, but what I'm going to use is actually uh, Envirotex Light. It's a pour-on. It, as you can see, it's a high-gloss finish. Um, it's really cool stuff. I did a test piece here. Um, I actually went a little overboard, you can see, but it's a test piece. It's fine. Um, the reason I'm doing this is I'm, I'm thinking this will give it that nice, as you can see, that real high-gloss finish, if you can see that. Um, and it makes it look like the picture is actually more inset into the handle, which I really like. So... Um, if you do this way though, you will need a blowtorch. Um, it's easier. You can exhale on it, but that's besides the point. But what you need to do is you, it's a two-part system. You mix them up, um, and then you'll pour it on top, and there'll be a bunch of air bubbles in there. And you gotta take the torch, and that'll take all those air bubbles right out. It's really cool stuff. Um, but like I said, if you don't want to buy this, if you're doing this more for one job, one shot job, uh, skip this and move on so this is what I'm gonna do I'm gonna get both of them on get all these pictures covered up also in the meantime while waiting while I'm letting those set up um, I went and I primed my guns and what I did is I took uh, Zinser cover stain it's an oil based primer uh, the reason I went with this is I know that this particular um, primer will seal down uh, stains and everything from lifting up through the wood and the reason I went with that is also um, basically so it'll seal down the MDF board um, and it won't soak up into it so I have to put on like 40 coats of primer um, so as you can see I got them uh, well fairly well primed I missed some spots but I did the best I could right now and you can see it's still really really rough you can see all that now what I'm oops, focus. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back with my sandpaper. I'm going to re-sand the entire pistol. Um, probably do another coat of uh, primer and then re-sand it all again so it's really nice and smooth. So all oh, that'll look really sharp when it's done. Um, after that, we got to paint them up and we should be good to go. So, all right, go ahead and get those. Get your pistol grips done. Get your primer. Get your guns primed up, sanded, and. Uh, yeah, I'll show you what we got when I when I get there. So, okay, so where we were last, um, we were priming them up. Um, what I did is I gave them two coats of the, the uh, cover stain primer. Um, I re-sanded them down, made them nice and smooth. Um, and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and paint them with these two colors here. 
Um, you can see one's made by Rust-Oleum. It's just a, a, a black. It's just a Canyon black, I guess they call it. And the other one's made by Krylon. It's a classic gray. I mean, that's what I'm going with. I mean, those colors are debatable. That's up to you on what you actually go with. But this is what I'm using. Um, I think they look pretty nice together for uh, for the black and the gray gun. So I've seen people use like a silver, but I didn't like the silver. I thought it was um, too shiny. So as you can see, I got one here already. It's all uh, painted up with the gray, and I got one uh, over there. It's painted up with the black. Um, put them apart so I didn't want to cross mix the colors. I didn't want speckles of black or gray in either one. So um, go ahead and paint them of the color of your choosing. Give them a couple of coats just to make sure you got everything covered nice and neat. Um, from there, we should be able to put our pistol grips onto it. Uh, focus, there we go. And then we shall start painting up some of the small accent pieces. Um, these you can see here, these are like the, the, the clip bottoms. Um, those are gold, I got those painted gold already. Uh, the hammer's going to be gold, the, the trigger's gold, stuff like that. So, um, yeah, I'm just waiting for the paint to dry, let that go, and then we'll paint them up with the accent pieces, and uh, that should be about it. So, all right. Okay, where we were last, um, we were just putting the finishing touches up on the pistols, and as you can see now, uh, they're pretty much finished up. Uh, like I said, we got them painted. The, the shell ejection ports are painted just a slightly darker gray than this uh, than that gray, just to give it some more offset. The same with the small points, the rivet points are uh, painted that slightly darker gray. I uh, went ahead and got the, the pistol grips uh, screwed on there. I countersunk these screws just a little bit, just so they're nice and, uh, and flush with everything. Uh, the words, you can see, were actually... They gave me one of the hardest things on here because I couldn't quite figure out how to make it look, you know, nice. Uh, basically, what I ended up doing is I went back to the stencil. I laid the stencil on here and I got that and I traced the stencil onto here. And then from there, I took a very, very super fine brush and I just really slowly hand painted uh, Ebony Ivory and then I, I drew on this little symbol. For both of them and then again I just took the gold paint and I just really slowly really carefully painted that on there um, I tried using a stencil I just couldn't get the stencil to come out clean um, I tried a couple different things I just couldn't get it to look clean so I just went ahead and uh, hand painted it on there and it turned out actually pretty nice for just being uh, hand painted on there but uh, yeah you can see everything else is on there I got and just give you an overall view of it here so it's just uh... it's pretty nice so turned out pretty good uh, that's that's pretty much it and uh... i hope to see you on my next build so uh... alright